So I just wanted to give a massive shout out to this dude over here, Sage Fake Predator. He gave the Rumble and the Phoenix for the giveaway, and to this dude Satoshi who gave me dough and helped me get to Shita, and to this other dude pa Patrick Henry Labadan who was asking for a shout out. If you guys want a shout out, watch till the end of the video to have to get the instructions for the shout out. Yo, what's up, y'all, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back at it again, and today we're gonna be doing something. We're gonna be continuing the last video because I already made a video on how to get ready for Blocks Fruits Update 17 Part 3. But today we're going to be discussing that even further, and we're gonna be adding three more stuff I think three or four more stuff to the list of things that you should do before update 17 part 3 comes out and the reason why i added this is because there's actually more stuff that's gonna be released in update 17 part 3 if you just go check their twitter or just check the discord there's actually a lot more stuff that they have planned for update 17 part 3 besides the awake besides the awakening besides race awakening there's more stuff like swords and styles and we're gonna be discussing that all today so yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Oh yeah, so the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is they you already all know that they're gonna be releasing cursed swords. Uh cursed sword or cursed dual sword is Odin Sword. So these swords are gonna be composed of Toshira and Enma. Toshita and Enma or Yama, if you guys wanna call it that. So the cursed dual sword, we already have speculations and it's almost confirmed that the cursed dual sword requires you to have both Toshita and Yama. But also have their mastery at to at least 400. I'm gonna get my Toshita mastery to 600 later. But yeah. And my Yama mastery already, if you guys wanna see my Yama mastery, it's already at six. It's already at 600, if you guys wanna see right here. So my Yama mastery is already at 600. So I'm already. Now, if you boys wanna get Enma and Toshita, the two swords that I was talking about. So this is going to be the very quick ride right here. So go to Floating Castle. Or yeah, this area over here, the floating castle, and then go talk to this dude over here who's gonna give you the elite hunter quests. Then what you're gonna need to do is get the elite hunter quests, and then each elite hunter that you kill has a 20% chance of dropping god chalice. That's for Toshita. But for Yama, you need to kill over 20 to 30 elite hunters, and then once you've killed enough elite hunters, you're gonna be worthy of Yama. And then for God Chalice, you're gonna need to spawn uh Indra with the God Chalice. And then you don't you have to not kill Indra because if you don't if you wanna get Toshita, you have to not kill Indra. And then after you've spawned Toshita, you're gonna go to the same place as Yama, which I'll be showing right here right now. So you need over 20 kills for Yama and for Toshita, you need to kill elite hunters until you get a god chalice. Okay? And for Yama, you need to kill the elite hunters over 20 to 30 times to for you to get worthy. And then go to this direction over here. This is Hydra Island, guys. If you want if you're wondering, this is Hydra Island right here. And then you're just gonna go over here to the side where there's a like waterfall area. And then you're gonna come up over here. Make sure not to die by the water. And then hit that with fire door or any move that you have. Piece up these NPCs right here. Like blah 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 blah. Pa 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 pa. So yeah. All these NPCs right here be dead. Make sure not to die from these NPCs. But yeah, if you do die from these NPCs, it means you're not worthy. You know, I mean these NPCs are easy as heck. Don't die from them. So yeah, right here you got you're gonna click this thing over three times. And if you're if you have enough elite hunter kills you're gonna and you're worthy enough it's gonna give you yama and right here you have yama and then come over here to the side and over here to the side right here is where you get the over here to the side right here is where you get the what am i doing i'm going in circles bruh go to the damn area already bro what the heck yeah over here finally so over here is where you need to um talk with the, over here is where you need some dude with the hockey all three all legendary hockeys i think and then you're gonna open that area over there to start the puzzle and that area over there you're gonna need a friend to help you with if you don't want to buy all the hockeys watch a video of gamer Nom if you want to find out more it's a requirement now the next thing that i would recommend you guys know is have all of your styles with high mastery so god human or superhuman v2 or superhuman is going to get a version 2 so superhuman is gonna get a version 2 so what you should guys do is get all of your styles to max mastery or 450 mastery but i recommend max mastery but i recommend yeah i recommend max mastery so i have like my electric law at max mastery right now a water kung fu teacher i'm gonna get it to like max master or something like that and Look at this, uh, our, my water kung fu is not like max mastery. I'm gonna get my water kung fu or fisherman karate to max mastery. Because this is very important to get to max mastery. Because this might be a requirement for superhuman v2. 
So I'm gonna get all of it to max ma mastery and um, talk to him and you learn the other the style and then you're gonna get electric claw v electric claw v2 and my master at this is 600 so yeah um there's already lots of videos explaining how to get this just watch those other videos better youtubers to you know get all these fighting styles so the fighting styles are gonna be electric claw v1 v2 get that to like 600 400 plus mastery superhuman get that to like max mastery if possible dead step dark step fisherman karate get that to as max possible max if possible or 400 mastery if possible just get all of your fighting styles to 400 plus mastery because it might be a requirement for superhuman v2 is to get lots of your to get lots of boots now the reason why i'm asking you guys to get lots of foods is because there's going to be reworks of certain foods the reworks are going to be rubber and gravity is also going to get a rework but i forgot where my gravity is but gravity it's gonna get a rework i don't have gravity anymore though also shout out to this dude who gave me rumble and bird phoenix we're gonna have a rumble and bird phoenix like giveaway probably in future videos or in the live stream but yeah rubber is gonna get a rework and it might be more expensive so if you guys have if you guys um can buy or get rubber now get your hands on some rubber some gravity control and some magma because people there's gonna be lots of people there's gonna be lots of people who are gonna want those because i think control and gravity is gonna get a rework and i think that um rubber is gonna get a rework too so get those double foots if you can and keep them because they're gonna increase in value so if you're a trader if you're a trader then you're gonna benefit from that tip so just keep that so speaking of that i could buy something from black suit dealer cousin so i think that's gonna be it guys um the last thing that i could tell the last thing that i could say about getting ready is get lots of belly get lots of belly or yeah belly because i think i think 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 i think i think i think, I think Bruh. Bruh. that both dual swords dual cursed swords and superhuman v2 are going to have belly requirements so have at least 10 million to 20 million um belly because i think they're both going to have importance in the du dual um cursed quest but i also think that belly is going to be important because i think you're gonna need to spend over 5 million belly for the quest i think yeah, this is just an estimate, but just to get ready, save up some belly as well. Like, 10,000 belly, or I mean, 20 million belly should be good enough. Yeah, but, yeah, save up some belly. But I don't think most people are gonna have a hard time saving up belly. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it, guys, for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, watch the other video for the last part, because I made a video on how to get ready. This is just a follow-up video because, um, there's lots of stuff that I missed in that update, so yeah. Watch this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out and see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to watch my other videos. I made already a video on how to get or how to prepare for the update. So, that's the first part. So, in that first part, I tackled Do Awakening and Race Awakening. In this video, I tackled mainly Superhuman V2 and the Cursed Blades. Because I think it's also a very important part of the update. And some people are actually more hyped for the Cursed Blades than the Do Awakening. But me personally, I'm more hyped for Race Awakening. So, tell me down in the comment section down below. Which which are you more more hyped for are you more hyped for race awakening do awakening curse blade or god human v2 personally i'm most hyped for uh race awakenings and the new sword than do awakening but yeah don't forget to watch my other videos guys on getting ready part one and the enma video and the noob to pro video because all these videos take a lot of time to make and i really put my love and soul in them and they are very funny so go watch those videos guys and i guarantee you you will be entertained i think